Hello everyone and welcome back to the NSB channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete overview and breakdown of payment gateways, how to utilize them, their general benefits, how to go ahead and extract them from websites so they can go ahead and contribute to your success whilst using NSB. So to begin this video, let's go ahead and break down what a payment gateway is because it does sound like a very daunting term. To break it down very simply, if you look on the image on screen, this is going to convey my point very easily to you guys. It's essentially like choosing using your type of payment methods when you typically go through Shopify checkouts which I will do in this video you typically have PayPal your cards or any other type of payment methods available to go ahead and pay for the item you've took through the checkout process now if you actually go to the create task section within NSB and hit the advanced button you're going to see a box for Shopify sites which has preset payment gateway now you might be asking yourself based off the information I've just told you why would that be necessary essentially if we go ahead and fill this out with the correct information we can can configure each task we go ahead and make with these configurations to use a specific payment gateway so that will increase efficiency when you're going through the checkout process. Now to go ahead and get this preset payment gateway it can be extracted through the site itself it's a very simple process I will show you this later in the video but before we do that let's go ahead and talk about the benefits now there's two main benefits that I'm going to speak about so the first benefit I am going to go ahead and talk about is when you go ahead and inject a gateway ID into the preset payment gateway box when you're creating your task for a certain site you're essentially directing your task to use a specific type of payment method now with that you can go ahead and take advantage of payment methods that require less information and less processing overall compared to the other payment methods so for example for this let's say if i were to pay with my card i'll put in all my card details that is going to take x amount of time however if there's an option for cash and delivery it's going to take no payment details from me allowing my task to be more faster the second benefit is that if you want to be extremely specific when you're going and using these tasks you can go ahead and inject payment gateway IDs in here so you can go ahead and only stick to one type of payment method. for example if you wanted to go ahead and use your PayPal account instead of using your card then putting the ID in here will allow you to do that so before I go ahead and extract a payment gateway ID for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using NSB and the sites they support so if you guys want to check out NSB if you don't have a copy for yourself the link will be down below I highly recommend it it's just gonna make this video more easier to understand and obviously when you're following through with the bot that I'm using Using, you can test it out for yourself as well so for the purpose of this video we're going to be using marathon sports for this example so I am on marathonsports.com let's head to the shop and go ahead and grab an item that is in stock so we can go through the checkout process so I'm gonna hit shoes here wait for this section to load and I'm just gonna grab up any item that is in stock so the first items in stock let's click it and let's pay attention to the sizing so size 7 is in stock so I'm just gonna go with a size 7 not to complicate things so I'm gonna hit add to carts so it's gone ahead and successfully added to bag so I'm gonna hit the review your order button I'm gonna go to my cart everything is ready good to go the item there the price quantity and the total I'm gonna hit the checkout button make sure to not hit any of these buttons we actually need to go through the Shopify checkout process so let's hit the checkout button here give it one moment and it's actually took me to the shipping page but let's go back a few spaces here to information so we've done the cart section but we're gonna go to information let's click this give it a moment and all my information is here I've blurred it out for the purpose of this video but this is where you're going to go ahead and put in all your information such as your email your first name last name address all that good stuff once you are done hit the continue to shipping button then go ahead and select your shipping method so I'm going to hit the first one because we're not actually checking out this item right now so I'm going to go ahead and do that click continue to payments which X out of this it's going to calculate taxes so now we're on the payment page which is the final process of checking on items so on here you have a bunch of your details but the main part that we're going to focus on is your payment method so we have a bunch of payment methods here we have credit card PayPal or Amazon pay obviously this will vary between size like I mentioned at the beginning some sites are gonna have cash and delivery but for the purpose of this video we are going to be selecting PayPal now you guys don't have to click anything here all you guys gonna do is right click anywhere and hit the option where it says inspect or you can do control shift I if you want to do that and this is going to pop up it looks complicated but do not worry we're simply just inspecting the page you literally don't need to understand any of this all you have to do is click control on F and this is going to go ahead and pop up a box at the bottom where you can go ahead and find by string select or X box so anything you type in there it's going to go ahead and find it so if I were to type in Windows for example it will search the code for the word Windows and it will show you how many results pop up for the purpose of this video we're going to go ahead and find the pit when Gary ID for PayPal so to do that we have to type the code that is on screen right now which is data dash select 
dust gateway and that is going to go ahead and find within the code the three gateways um as you guys can see we have three pet methods here that's why there's three matches to the code i just typed in it's actually found but when we hover over it it's for credit card and i mentioned that i want paypal so i'm going to go ahead and do is hit the enter button and then it's going to take me to paypal as you guys can see it's the second result and it highlighted paypal so if i go to the code there as you guys can see, it's highlighting the PayPal option. It says data dash select dash gateway equals that number, and that is the gateway ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Control C to go ahead and copy the gateway ID. So I had the gateway ID written down, but I also want to get the product URL because that's what I'm going to be using through my task creation process. So let's go ahead and copy the link as well. And for the purpose of this video, I've gone ahead and put everything in a notepad so I can access it very quickly. So we are back in NSB and let's go ahead and configure a task. So let's click the create task button and we're going to search up marathon sports like so. This is going to pop up like I showed you before. Then we can go ahead and configure our mode here. I'm going to put that on fast mode for the link. Let's go ahead and grab the link that I copied before of the product we're going to be using. We know that I use this product in a demonstration, so it's the best one to use. We know that size seven is in stock, so I'm gonna put seven there. The number of tasks is just one. I just want to create one task. I want to go ahead and use no proxy here, so I'm gonna configure it to use no proxy, and I'm going to use my test billing profile. Then I'm going to hit the advanced button, and then we have the advanced settings. We have monitor timeout, which is default to 3,500 milliseconds, and also the restock timeout, which is default to 3,500 milliseconds. I don't wanna change any of that, so I'm going to keep it like that. I can activate checkout using local IP or I can use a share as a monitor but I want to leave that alone I just want to put in the preset payment gateway which is what I'm going to go ahead and do so I'm going to put the gateway in there I can go ahead and schedule my task if I wish require login if I wish or false capture I'm going to leave all that alone I'm just going to hit the submit button and it's going to go ahead and create my task I'm going to go ahead and grab a capture solver to go ahead and use here so let's go ahead and use this one let me open my solver I'm logged in and good to go and one slight notice this won't actually work this is simply test data you guys could dictate that from the name test of the billing profile but because we have selected the paypal payment gateway id it's going to go ahead and pop up a paypal guest checkout so i'm going to go ahead and run the task here let it go through the entire status and go through everything it needs to give it a moment to go ahead and go through everything it's going to wait for capture here it solves it give it a second and as you guys can see it sent it to the paypal checkout so let this load it's going to load into paypal i can go ahead and log in and complete my purchase or i can go ahead and select the option pay with a card if i wish so that goes ahead and concludes the demonstration part of this video but one little notice i did want to make make sure when you're using these payment gateway fields that you know exactly what you're doing in relation to the site because in some cases you are going to mess up and there's some cases as well where sites allow automatically checking out and if you use paypal you're just going to slow yourself down so make sure to do research into the site to know the most optimal option for example if there's a site that says cash and delivery and that's available then obviously go for that option because it's less details being processed it will overall be a faster option so just make sure you evaluate everything before going ahead and using these payment gateway ids so that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video if you guys did enjoy it, drop a like subscribe if you guys are new turn on post notifications to know when the next time we upload i'm going to catch you guys next time peace out